Hello, this is Wood Education Blog 43, about Elizabeth Wood. In this video, I'm going to talk to you that, that God has created the Corona uh, virus um, 40, um, 19. Uh, he created evil. Um, uh, in, in the video I uploaded here before this, I uh, talk to you about the, the verse that said that God created uh, evil and he created this this disease for a reason and find out what the reason is on the next page. Hello, this is Eva Elizabeth Wood, uh, Wood Education Blog 43. Um, this is, um, this, this video is going to be very important, and I want you all to know that God's judgment is on us. God is, is is causing this coronavirus to happen. He's the one that created evil. In other words, God can destroy as well as Satan the devil can destroy and destroy lives. And it's all through the Bible. From the Old Testament up to the New Testament, in the New Testament, that God has used His people, the Israelites, to destroy the unbelievers and people who worship uh, idols and people who who practice lesbians and gays and people who go get drunk and and commit adultery and do all these evil sins against God. Yes, God created evil. And he created, then he's using Satan and allowing Satan to create this virus called SARS-2, which is Corona. 19. It's going to get worse to, for the coming weeks. It will not let up until almost a half a year is gone. It's going to be well beyond the summer of 2020. Now, the reason for this is that God knows there's a lot of wickedness and a lot of sin going on down here on this earth. A lot of murders, and a lot of people divorcing and remarrying to another divorcee and committing adultery, having sex with a, with a, with a spouse outside of marriage or another person. People are stealing, criminals, people are murdering. Murdering physically and spiritually. These are all the sins that is going on right now around the world. And God is putting his judgment right now on us. This coronavirus is created by God. He's the one is causing this. He is telling the people to wake up, that, that he is real, that he is alive. He wants everybody saved. I, I was watching these videos that claim that they had Jesus and, and why this, uh, this corona 
virus is happening, I'll tell you. They're way off the mark. This is what is mentioned in Matthew 24. Read Matthew 24, the whole chapter. Read it. And when you come to verse 7 in Matthew 24, read about the pestilence and the famine. We're going to have famine following this pestilence because businesses has been closed. All the businesses that is non-essential is closed. The only businesses that are open are essential. That is the grocery stores and the drug stores and the gas stations so we can get to our grocery stores to get our food. There's going to be a ban in, in, in following this, I do believe, because the grocery stores can't keep up the, the stocks for stocking their, their products on the shelves. And, and it's flying off the shelves faster than what they can put up there on their shelves. There's going to be a shortage of food for a period of time. And these people who are greedy and selfish and hoarders out of panic and fear, they hog and hoard all the food off the shelves. Then the grocery store managers, they are buckling down. They're putting signs up that says, no more, take no more than one. And I have, I've been in my grocery store three times since this coronavirus started to affect my county. And I go in there, and I see signs up on the shelves. No more than two cans. No more than two frozen bags of vegetables. No more than this and that. No more. Don't take, take one of this and take one of that. So, I go into the canned food aisle, and the majority of the cans in the, in the food aisle is gone. People are hoarding. People are, are panicking. They're fear. That's because they do not have the Holy Spirit. They do not have the Word of God inside them that will calm them, that will give them peace. Yes, look to Jesus. Yes. Keep your eye on Jesus. Go to Jesus and ask Him for help. He will protect you. Yeah, it's fan and fowls, pestilence. If you read Matthew 24, verse 7, that's how it's worded. Versus pestilence and then phantom. Phantom means no food. And it's going to get worse as time goes on. And another thing that people are doing, I know President Trump is doing it. He keeps changing his his mind about just one thing. It's going to end. It's going to disappear on Easter Sunday. And wouldn't it be nice that all the church goers come together and worship together? And there were some other people here on YouTube is putting dates on. Oh, it's going to end on this certain date. There, there isn't going to be any more coronavirus. It's going to disappear as fast as it came. No way it's going to disappear. Do not believe that crap. Do not believe that crap. It's not true and that's an outside, outright lie of Satan. We got to have faith. We got to trust. We got to have 100% trust in God that He is going to protect us from, from this coronavirus. But I see that nobody is doing that. Even the people who claim to be Christians, 
They go in the grocery store and hog all everything off the shelves and pile their grocery cart up to the hills. That is greediness. That is what God does not want us to do. He wants us not to be greedy. He does not want us to be selfish. If you are obeying God, and if you have a word of God in you, which is the Holy Spirit, you will not have this fear. You will have your 100% uh, trust in God that he is going to resolve this coronavirus. He's the one that's causing it. And he's allowing Satan to create this virus, which I do believe it was created in the bio uh, safety lab. I do believe that. I can't prove it. I don't have evidence or facts, but I do believe it. This is God letting us know that we have a chance to be, to be saved by the grace that he has given us. He's given us freedom. He is telling us to, to believe on him, that he was crucified on the cross and he took all our sins. He took our sins. He has forgiven us. The sins that we, that we have against God and Jesus is not our sins. It's not our fault that we sin against him with adultery and stealing and murdering and greediness and selfishness and, and idolatry. We worship idols more than we worship God. God wants to be worshipped. Satan the devil is doing his best not to let us worship God. He, God is putting fear, I mean not fear, but Satan is putting fear in us. Not God. God is allowing Satan to create this, this horrible epidemic virus that is killing millions of people around the globe. And following that is famine. Already in the southern country like like uh, South America, like uh, Africa and Indonesia, in the equator, equator of, of part of the of the globe, they are starving to death. They are poor people in the villages. They have no food. Babies and children are dying. There are flies that carry in Korea uh, um, these these viruses. Not enough food for them to to eat, and they're dying. And right now, as it was said in the Bible, the prediction that they are flat, uh, plagued with locusts in the southern countries over in the eastern part of the globe. They are manifested with millions of locusts down on their farm, on their crops. They are all over the place. And that is predicted in the Bible. Now, we got to trust God 100%. We've got to we got to ask him to um, to protect us from this pestilence, like David did in Psalms ninety one. He asked God. He asked God to to rescue him from this pestilence that is coming against him, and God answered David because David has obeyed God, even though he murdered somebody and stole somebody's wife by murdering the, the husband of this wife, so he married her. And he was running. He's trying to escape. 
No matter where they would go, God is following him. Can't run away from God. God is right there. So when you do read Psalms 91, if you happen to have a Bible, read it prayerfully. Make it your own prayer. Think about your know, disciples. They were on the on the sea of Galilee, or on the sea, and and Jesus was at the the front of the boat sleeping. And one of the apostles went up there, and they woke him up because the sea was going like this; it was rocking the boat like this. Then Jesus woke up, then he said, Peace. He called the apostles, the, the men of little faith. They didn't, they were scared, they were feared, just like we are during this epidemic. These people who are not, have the Holy Spirit, do not have the trust and 100% um, to God that God is going to uh, take care of this. He is wakening up the world of their sinful nature. Let me tell you something. These bars that sell alcohol, liquor, whiskey, rum, vodka, these are strong alcoholic drinks and they these people go into these bars, then they get drunk, then they go drunk, drunk, drunk. So, he has, the President of the United States tells us people to close our bars, our clubs, nightclubs in the city. This cor coronavirus is separating us. Because God is the creator of evil, and he has created this coronavirus through the um, um, biosafety lab. And someone purposely has infected the bats and the Pangola, Pangolin, with this aerosol virus has done it. Now, like I said, I can't, I had no faith. I mean, I had no fact, no truth, no evidence that that's my hunch. I think that's how God is doing it. He's, he's infecting it, the animals with this corona virus through the biosafety lab. Pray to God for protection. Do as President Trump asked you to do in the CDC. Stay isolated. Stay home. Travel only necessary to the grocery stores to pick up your to pick up your uh, your medication and to do some grocery shopping and get gas and do not venture to any other place to do shopping. Do not shop. Let me, let me, um, get to, um, I heard by these rules here. Now, Donald Trump is thinking about quarantine, mandatory, on all of us. That means we have to stay in our homes in our apartment. We are not to leave because we're going to be forced to stay in our homes. Now he is just saying that. And then he changes his mind and, and lessen the restricted quarantine mandatory in our homes and our that this is gonna be really tough if they if he asked the the National Guard in the martial law. He might put martial law into law. He might. 
I don't know. I'm just saying that. So look in the Bible. I I um I have a video I'm gonna to upload with that verse in it. And I want you to look at it. God created evil. He created this coronavirus. He did. He's trying to wake up people. They're, they're, they are divorcing one another. They are murdering. They are worshiping idols. They are committing adultery and they are stealing. They are being drunk. They are being selfish and greedy. These are the sins against God. And he's waking them up. He's telling them, come to me. I will give you eternal life through my son Jesus. Come to me. Confess your sins and repent. Repent means to do away with all these sins that I have mentioned, which is not our own. It's not our fault. We were born into this world of sins of Adam and Eve. And he cursed the ground. That day, when Adam and Eve has committed sin against him, that is because Satan has attempted them. And they, they went through on temptation of eating that fruit that was forbidden to eat unless they died, which came true to Adam and Eve and for the rest of the world up until today. Our death is our greatest punishment for sinning against God. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you here the next time on Wood Education Blog 43. I will see you soon in my next video. And if you like this video, subscribe down below here, and hit that notification bell if you like this video. I will appreciate that you will share my videos with others. Thank you for watching.